clear signs that you are a white witch. Earthly angel with a magic hand. Anyone interested in mythology and history knows that the term witch is unfairly tainted with negativity. Eventually relegated to little more than a swear word, witches were once simply wise women who were well-versed in healing and midwifery. They thus did not conform to the image of women of their time, which made them a target of suspicion and prejudice from the outset. They were self-employed at a time when an independent life for women was unthinkable. They had a great deal of knowledge, and thus more education than much of the male population of the time. The sad climax of this historical misunderstanding was the witch trials and the persecution by the Catholic Church. Not only were the methods of the Inquisition questionable at the time, but above all, the intention behind this large-scale extermination campaign. Many women were denounced because their husbands or patrons had grown tired of them and no longer regarded them as anything more than annoying mistresses and recalcitrant appendages. The witches also deprived the high clergy of its monopoly on the only true spirituality. And they dispossessed the healers, bathers, and apothecaries as well as monastic medicine of their clientele. Their independence and their refusal to submit to the well-behaved female image of their time was probably the biggest thorn in the side of most men. A white witch, therefore, stands for good energy, which she is able to use wisely. This high art can still be found today and is by no means extinct. If you want to know if maybe even you belong to the species witch, then we have a few valid clues for you. Number one, your relationship with animals is special. All people who feel a special connection to nature honor it and want to be as close to their creatures as possible. Animals and witches have a long and varied history behind them. However, this does not just mean the cliché of black cats, toads, and ravens that myth-making has at some point attributed to the witch cult. Those who feel connected to creation regard animals as living beings with equal rights. Modern witches, like their historical models, know that animals can be communicated with in a variety of ways. Whoever is open to their language will always find access to them. Animals, on the other hand, instinctively sense this attitude and know that they have nothing to fear from these nature-loving people. Number two, the universe speaks to you. Those who deal with healing arts natural phenomena, and the magic of creation every day of their lives will eventually be able to read the signs that the universe sends. Modern witches are as interested in the starry sky as they are in the phases of the moon and the weather. They know that everything in this cosmos is one. There is not a cog in this perfectly thought-out clockwork that is not of importance to the whole picture. Every blade of grass plays its part in this construct. If you've always been interested in the big picture and have an eye for details and connections alike, perhaps there is indeed a white witch slumbering in you. Number three, you believe in higher powers. Respect for nature and all living beings that share this planet brings with it a certain amount of humility. It is followed by gratitude, as a beautiful life and health, safety, and freedom cannot be taken for granted. Sooner or later, as a consciously living person, we ask ourselves to whom we owe this wealth. The foundation for our later faith or the spiritual direction we ultimately choose is certainly laid in childhood. What you believe in is not crucial. What is important is that you do. If you feel this inkling in you that somewhere out there there are higher powers to whom we can turn at any time without any problem, you've already won. Number four, in harmony with nature. It follows from their love of animals, understanding of the cosmos, and curiosity about plants and their healing powers that modern witches find themselves irresistibly drawn to nature. Even as children, they suffer when they have to spend more time than absolutely necessary indoors. Nature is one big power place for them, 
where they always feel at home and always secure. Number five, you are extremely intuitive. What made up much of the healing art of the so-called witches in earlier times was their ability to read people. Many healthy problems are literally written on our faces, but the wise women also recognize the connection between psyche and body very early. In their diagnosis, but also in dealing with people who were not well disposed towards them, they were essentially assisted by their intuition, which guided them reliably. If you also find it easy to sense the thoughts and feelings of your fellow human beings, and your inner voice guides you strongly and reliably, you have one important thing in common with historical witches. Number six, your thirst for knowledge is unquenchable. Knowledge is power. Exactly this was the fatal fate of the witches in the Middle Ages. Nowadays, we all have the possibilities to acquire any knowledge in the world in a fraction of a second. Free access to education and the internet are treasure troves of inestimable value for all those who can never get enough of learning. Sound familiar? Then perhaps the witch in you is calling for a new supply on the knowledge front. Number seven, stones, shells, feathers are your passion. If you love nature, you'll love bringing it into your home. The cliches of witch kitchens where all kinds of ingredients are waiting to be used are no coincidence. Modern magicians love to surround themselves with beautiful pebbles, feathers, bundles of herbs and other found objects that they find during their countless stays outdoors. Being earthly is also important to modern witches. Therefore, they love gardening and have a devilish green thumb. Number eight, you love to deal with herbs and concoctions. Mixing natural cosmetics, ointments, oils, and herbal remedies is currently coming back in a big way. Modern witches have always cultivated this passion. From marigold ointment to thyme oil and yarrow tea, they can proudly look at a wide range of home brews. Number nine, your dreams seem prophetic and real. The second face was always one of the characteristics attributed to witches during the dark period of their persecution. In truth, they were probably only keen observers with, as already mentioned, a very strong intuition. This brings with it that also their dreams are much more detailed and vivid. Their subconscious mind thus shows them at night what information was clearly in front of them during the day, but they didn't consciously perceive. Being a witch obliges. Not every woman who lives alone and likes cats, dries her own nettle tea and pays tribute to the full moon is a white witch. But some fellow women undoubtedly display special gifts and abilities to live in harmony with the world. Their problem solving skills are enormous. They draw their strength from spending time in nature and they are always on hand with advice and assistance, always striving to be a helpful and good person. Such a life never harms, whether witch or not. 